These are not the typical scams you hear about in mainstream vlogs, for example, overpaying for a taxi, etc. Instead, I will cover things that you might not have thought about, certainly not if you are a first time visitor. Please keep in mind, I'm using the term scam loosely. At the end of the video, I'll show you how you can get more of these tips and strategy videos entirely for free. Number one, out of the dark, into the light. Out of the dark, the dark. Now this song really could not be more fitting. It goes like this, out of the dark, into the light, I give up and close my eyes. That's exactly what will happen with girls who on purpose will place themselves in dark areas. Whether that's on beach road in Pattaya, somewhere in the shadows of the palm trees, or in the dark area in the club. Why they do it is pretty obvious. It's the same reason girls will use filters when taking pictures. Is it a scam? Are they misleading you, pretending to look more attractive than they really are by standing in the dark? You decide. But it is certainly something to be aware of and some would consider this to be a scam, so be very, very careful when taking girls from beach road or any area where it's kind of like dark. Uh, you see this a lot with ladyboys that they stand in the dark, even on the street. They stand somewhere on the side, very close to a building where you can't properly see them. And then maybe if you're drunk or something, and next thing you know, you're already in the room and it's too late or you have paid already. Uh, yeah, it can be quite dangerous. Number two. Sale comes first, truth comes second. Sale comes first and the truth comes second. How much can you give me? Well, they would say how much you can give me. How much you give before. I'm pretty sure you will come across these questions when talking to a girl in Pattaya. But why would she not just tell you the price straight away? It is pretty simple. Say her price is 3000 baht. She's not going to go lower on any case, but if you are not aware of the standard price, and let's say you're a first time visitor um, and she asks you, you know, what you can give and you say anything higher than 3000 baht, well, she just made some extra money. Be aware of this. Number three, partying with her for free. So what we get drunk, so what we smoke weed. I'll illustrate this point by sharing a story. I once went out with a freelancer, okay? I told her, hey, I'm kind of bored. I'm not interested in paying you, nor would I take you home. You know, just hang out, let's go to the club, maybe have some drinks, which we did. She invited me for drinks, we partied. At the end of the night, I said goodbye to her. What happened? Well, she got kind of angry. She's telling me she spent all this money on me for drinks and I shouldn't do this to girls. So even though I clearly told her I'm not interested in paying for her or anything like that, she still assumed that this is what a guy would eventually do. She, he says, ah, I'm not really that interested, you know, going out and the, at the end of the night, the guy will be drunk or will be interested or horny and pay anyway or somehow get interested. This is another thing you should be aware of. And number four is actually taxi, even though I said it's not going to be about taxi because it's not about something that you've heard of before. It's not typical uh, manipulated meter or not using meter. Now this applies to all locations, so Pattaya and everywhere else. In general, when it comes to using taxis, people are told to avoid fixed prices, unless of course you know what the price is supposed to be, right? The common advice is to insist that the meter is being used. And I would say in almost all cases, that advice makes sense. But what you should be aware of, and this happened to me maybe once or twice, is that despite using the meter and despite the meter working correctly, the driver can actually take a detour. So in other words, he's not taking the most direct route and thereby the price of the fare will go up. Now, the bad thing about this is there's no way to avoid it unless you know the route, right? Or you have Google Maps open while you're in the taxi and you say, okay, this doesn't make sense. We're not going in a straight line like he's taking a massive detour. The good news about this is that even if you get scammed, this scam I would consider to be rather harmless. Um, the damage will only be a few dollars. So it's nothing to worry about. Just keep it in mind. But it, it's not as extreme as, let's say, with a girl where you pay a thousand baht more. It's just a few dollars, so nothing to worry about. And number five, more Thailand strategies and tips. So lastly, if you want more of these tips, 
videos, how to avoid scams, plan your talent trip. You can get free bonus videos by signing up for the email newsletter. It's at kingepic.com forward slash insider. And when you sign up there with your email address, which is completely for free, you get bonus videos right away. And that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.